Russia, which sounds very grand, but really, it's only a couple of hours away, and uh, I'd make videos longer than that. New bullet. Look at that touring seat. I'm going to try this out now. Look at that. I'm not sorry, buddy. That one there, I bought a white car. Check out that seat. I love you got the Meteor finned engine look. Classic shocks. Look at that fab seat. The seat is amazing. I don't know, obviously a picture doesn't help you. This is much more comfortable than the classic by a long way. It's touring seat, it's like sitting on a mattress. It's lower than the standard classic for sure. It's absolutely, what a comfortable bike. It honestly, it's like sitting in an armchair. That's an unbelievable upgrade. Honestly, that's blown me away. That's a fantastic upgrade. That is so comfortable. Look how wide it is. That's fantastic. One of the bikes that was the inspiration for what I did to my Meteor. I'd seen pictures of this and it's here. Have a look at this. on my one. Obviously a bit skimpier in the mudguard than mine. I think mine's a bit smart to be honest. Nice shocks though. I see they've copied me with the um, nut covers. So it looks like they've lost a couple. Their gaiters are a bit crap as well. Not as good as ours. In fact, it's all a bit ropey compared to mine, I think. Ah, uh, they, they've put the forks through the headstock, look, through the top yoke. 
to lower the suspension. That's interesting. These new meteors are quite lonely on the stand, actually. Look at the fab new colours. I just love this green. That's a lovely colour. I see they've used the classic engine. A meteor would usually have ground fins, like that bullet we just saw. But that's a classic 350 engine. The usual wobbly shift. Beautiful. On the blue and white, that's gorgeous. It's a lovely white as well, old English white, we'd call it. But um, I'm sure where you are, you've got your old, your own name for that sort of creamy white. Of course, being a meteor with a slightly higher tank, you get to see more of the um, engine. A classic, the tank would be down there, and you don't really get to see the head cover. But being a meteor, you can see all of that shiny head cover now. Just looking back at these Aurora meteors, now it's a bit quieter. I thought they might just be classic 350 spoked wheels. But the rear has got a 17 inch, like a Meteor should. Which is nice and chunky. Nice big fat rim. Beautiful colours. That windscreen's fab. Nice extended mud flap on here. Too late for mine should help keep this beautiful engine clean. Here's another bullet. That's beautiful. I love the, um, the sculpted peak. I prefer that than the uh, classic 350 one. But that seat is fantastic. If you ever sat on a classic and thought perhaps it's not quite comfortable enough, I can assure you this is an incredibly comfortable motorcycle. I mean, look at this dude. He looks like a kid on it. New Himalayan has a thoroughly modern looking Royal Enfield. That looks really good. There's one over there I think I can sit on in a minute. That looks absolutely fantastic. What I like about this, what I've noticed is the rear subframe is mounted with four bolts. So Royal Enfield, if they wished, could remove that and using the same core, change the suspension length, put a different tail on and you could have a roadster, you could have a neoclassic, you could have a sports bike, trail bike, a scrambler, all with the same frame core, but fit a different tail end and swing arm length. Lovely. That looks really good. Check these out. Tubeless spoked wheels. Because the spokes fit through the rim. And not into the rim where air can leak. 
so you can go out on the trail and easily fix uh, punctures. Love it in the black and gold, it's very 80s. And that luggage looks fantastic. It's a Royal Enfield branded look. That's brilliant. Just wandered back over for another look at the classics. The touring seat is very comfortable. A bit bit and fat, but very comfortable. I quite like the Airfly Guard. Might be looking at one of those. Ooh, I like the black finish on there. It's very nice. It's one like yours, Stephen. I've seen it now in this green. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? What a fab colour. Now, how do we get these forks off? It's one for Bruce. That looks far too neat and tidy needs to have a proper used look is a fab Royal Enfield that apparently and no joke is going to be in dealers from January to buy for 800 pounds look how big it is <laughs> it's a beautiful model look, but will be available to buy, apparently, unless he's winding me up, but I don't think so. What a beautiful model. It's about 20 inches long, about 12 inches high, or 300 millimeters high. Beautiful hunter. Lovely dinky little bike. <laughs> Remember when we used the tank and yeah, never mind. We won't talk about that today. It looks much better on the hunter. The hunter doesn't even have the bottom cradle, which is in a video that you haven't quite seen yet. Look, it just doesn't, it's not even there. Yeah. And they've got their footrests mounted to this piece. Alloy? Yeah. Which actually mounts to a couple of frame lugs. Just there. Royal Enfield stand, super popular. Everyone wants to sit on the bullet. Got to check out that pillion seat. <laughs> Super meteors. Can't get over that bullet touring seat. Look at the size of it. It's enormous. Satin and gloss. This bullet is. I do like it. Only because it's 
so comfortable. It's the interceptor. They've put adjustable levers on. Yeah, that's what the standard feels like to me. They're a bit far away from my hands. If I adjust that back, we'll bring them in. Check this out. Now, I love the traditional bikes, but this Kawasaki 400cc, four cylinder, 15,000 RPM, screamer. It's beautiful. I love it. 80 horsepower from 400cc. Make sure you all come forward and get a lovely picture of the brand new bikes. And if you fancy one, remember. Pick your colour scheme, see what the mother gives us or anybody in the recreation. These Fantics, I like these as well. Now that's a 125, but they've got it in the 500 as well. And I just love its playful kind of look. You can see how the, the, uh, my Meteor is kind of a... kind of related to that sort of look. And I, uh, I had seen this before I did my Meteor, and I'm wondering if the influence maybe um, from this had sunk in a little. They just look like such 70s style, colourful, play things and they've got punchy little water-cooled engines about 45 horsepower I think and this I think they're quite it's a plastic tank so it's all quite lightweight with this modern little motor I just love it it's just it looks like a little kid's toy you try on single cylinder the 400 what do you think of that? I thought it was a bit plain in pictures, but in person, it's not a bad looking bike. I think that's the Scrambler version, isn't it? Yeah. I had to sit on it, didn't really do anything for me. It's a perfectly lovely bike. But you know, you've got to want it. You've got to want it. Look at this fabulous looking electric bike. Very modern, but obviously very, very vintage looking. I love how clean all the rear end is. Range of up to. 40 to 80 miles, which isn't much, is it? They're saying up to 40 to 80. Perhaps that's 30. You know, if you go out for the afternoon and it runs out, you know, that's, that's, you're going to have a pretty long day. <laughs> You'd have to knock on someone's house to charge it up, wouldn't you? little Honda scramblers. I like the blue this year. Oh, and the orange. A little cowl.
Honda Rebel 500. I like this seat. Yeah. Remark has got one of those, haven't you? I'm very closely related to Scrambler. Same frame, look. An engine. 100 Rebel. I like this back wing fairing. Very dinky little bike. It might look big on camera. Beautiful little cub. That takes me back to when I had say gold star I've not seen it in black before everything looks better in black doesn't it if only they could make this engine case look a bit more expensive I'm not like it it's off a Fisher Price toy same for this thing Nice looking bike though. Let's look at a chrome one. There we go. Lovely in the silver. This is this is Ah, it's got a polished engine cover. That's much better. And an alloy trim. Very pretty. CCM, a British company which make custom Boba Scramblers. Very cool looking. Let's go and have a look. What a cool looking bike. I think they all use the same single cylinder water cooled engine. Very stripped back and empty. Love that intricate framework. All those tubes. Factory must look like a washing line factory. Again, very simple, but everything it needs. Look at that, it's hardly got anything in it. <laughs> it's just made of air. Nice bit of carbon fibre. Look at this fab bobber. I love that. I love all the tubes and everything. It looks so simple. It's like it's full of air. Look at this Royal Enfield. 1944 Royal Enfield WDCO. Mm. 
Amazingly, this bike was made only a few years before the bullet. So the bullet must have just seemed like the most amazing bike where it was released, with its rear suspension and its handling. To replace this hardtail. Fantastic bike, the bullet was. And still is, of course. Bring your front end. It's interesting how on the bullet you got the similar side cases that moved up and on the suspension at the back. Amazing. Uh, here we go. Check out this cutaway bullet. I'll find out the dates shortly. Much easier to adjust those valves. It's not a bullet, it's a Meteor look, an original 1955 700. I just assumed a bullet because it looked like it from the other side. I didn't notice it had two exhausts and two cylinders. I'm sure you were shouting that at me. There we go, an original Meteor. It's the inside of a Triumph. Triumph Thunderbird. I'm loving this bike lift though. How cool that is. That would be very handy. I wonder how much they are. 1935, look at that. Oh, okay. Wow, and I thought I had problems. And it's a Royal Enfield. <laughs> It'd be a while till I get one like that, that's for sure. That's gonna need some work. Bloody hell, what a state. Springer front forks, look. I will never complain again. That looks so cool. Oh yeah. 
Look at that filthy tank. There's a lot of WD-40 going into that. I'm glad I saw a rusty bike. Well, that's a fun day out. I spent about four hours walking around all the bikes. Uh, the show looks really good this year. There's so many nice bikes. <laughs> so difficult when they all look so amazing. And you're like, oh, I really like that. You know, you can't can't have it all, as they say. But the Royal Enfields always look good. That bullet seat was <laughs> so comfy. That's quite a shock. I'm not going to get one. But it was very comfortable. Then I sat in the touring seat of the classic version. That was very comfortable as well. Perhaps I just need a big seat to be comfy. But the small ones look good. Oh, it's so hard. But... Lovely to see. The Himalayan was nice. Nice bike. It'd be nice to sit on it when you can actually feel the weight. Because the only problem with bikes at the bike show is because they're bolted down, you can't feel how heavy they are to move around, which is quite important to me. I remember last year I looked at the Suzuki DL1000 and it was, oh, you know, nice bike, nice adventure bike. And I tried one out in the showroom when they came out. And it, I thought it had been bolted down. I, could, I couldn't lift it off the side stand. It was so heavy. So, didn't want that. The Triumph, the little Triumph 400s were nice. They didn't really push my buttons. But, but it, they look good enough. <laughs> good enough. I mean, sounds like I'm being mean. They were lovely. The Triumph 400s, very nice. Royal Enfield, funny enough, I was talking to them, they said new models coming out in February. I don't know how accurate that was. I don't mean that little one. Well, it wasn't little. But, um, looking forward to those, but it, it's probably obvious that Royal Enfield are always going to have lots of new models coming now. Especially with that new base engine they've got. The water-cooled one. And they've got their love, all their lovely engines. So, more to come. So next year I'll be looking forward to that. But for now, I think we'll go back, we'll enjoy the bikes we've got, and we'll crack on with the Royal Enfield. There is half in bits. So, new video very soon. I've already got one ready for you. And um, get in the workshop, because winter is coming. I'm just grabbing a few minutes before I drive home. So it's nice to be out of all that noise. But thanks very much for watching. Sorry if I didn't get to show everything. It was a bit mad in there. But lovely to do this for you. And those bikes are all nice. Some nicer than others. Anyway, see you next time.